You're listening to Up In Your Business with me, Carrie McCoy. I'm speaking today with Chef Donnie Furneaux, the tireless, big-hearted, gun-toting, culinary genius, and reality TV star of the Food Network. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> I'm not right. I loved writing that. You were on the barbecue in 2015. You were on the BBQ Blitz. You were on something else, you said. I was on Cooking Channel. I, I judged a barbecue show. Oh. Um, gosh, what was the name of it? <laughs> Oh, Big Bad Barbecue Brawl. Oh, okay. And so I secretly had a love for barbecue, and I just haven't really... It was kind of, The cat was getting out of the bag at that point. Oh, okay, good. Uh, in 2017, just last year, you did the Great Food Truck Race, and you were the Southern Frenchie Truck, which I watched. Arwen watched. We all loved it. Um, I personally really thought you should have won. We did, too. <laughs> <laughs> we actually got second place in sales that day that we got cut in... Uh, Oh, really? Nashville, yeah, but because of the challenges and everything, we, we got squeezed out, and that was a tough one. And with my wife doing marketing, she lost, she was like, are you kidding me? We got second in sales. It's all about marketing. How can you win last in sales and still win immunity? So tell the radio listeners that you are married to Megan. Me, yeah, was, Megan for now. Yeah, she, was, she was on there with you. She, yeah, she's a little blonde. Squeaky that, uh, little cute blonde. Gorgeous. And she has a job in marketing and she's, thought she did a great job. She does PR. Yeah, she does PR and her um, agency was kind enough to let her leave with me for, you know, X amount of weeks. And that was a big ask right there too. So mm -hmm. this one, I was actually at the gym and I was working out and I got a message from Food Network on my Facebook page and they asked if we wanted to do the food, great food truck race. I'm like, man, I don't want to do a food truck. Like it, it just doesn't sound right. Then they said we could win $50,000. I'm like, I guess I'm doing a food truck. Let's do this. <laughs> and then um, they interviewed me uh, and my wife uh, for quite a while. And then um, we weren't sure we were on the show. And then our original partner backed out uh, a week and a half out, two weeks out. And then we put a, you know, then, then we were able to, to make a, a quick adjustment, and we were able to get on the show, and we had a great time, and and I've, I've lifelong memory. It was a great time. So it took you, you, you go down and you audition. We did not. No, you don't. Okay. So most people do. So there, there are casting most calls. Most of the time. Most, most of the time there are casting calls. This one was kind of, it was unique. They kind of. They kind of um, knew who they wanted and they went out and saw. Well, uh, it, it's, you got to understand like it's not, um, it, when you're watching a show, it looks great, but you still have to be gone for like five to six weeks. That and was you, my next question. How long are you gone? It, it, we were gone about five weeks and you have to, about four weeks, I think it was, but you have to, um, you can't tell anybody what you're up to. So. Yeah. And this last one, I you know I did the No Kid Hungry bicycle ride for 300 miles through California. We did 100 miles a day for three days, and then we were going to do the show, and we were supposed to leave in in March, and then it was postponed. I was thinking, well, we're not going to do the show now. And literally the week, the day I was supposed to leave for California to go to the bike ride, we had to leave um, for New Orleans to go film the show, and. Then I had to call the people in California and be like, listen, I can't ride my bike this far. I know we raised the money, but I can't tell you where I'm going either. <laughs> we oh, were... They are just mad at you probably. Well, no, they, they were they were cool. They were cool. We're gonna um, I'm I'm planning on riding again here in the near future. Um, but I'm still, you know, still with that charity and so they weren't too upset. We oh, still yeah. raised some money. You are but... a volunteer, they can't get too mad at you. Yeah, and, and so um, but the show was a great experience. It was a great experience for all of us on board. We we all learned a lot about each other and hopefully um, And you're still married? I'm still married. That. Actually, we were only married for six months before we were crammed on that food truck and, and high stress situations, and, and, and we came out stronger. So, that's nice. <laughs> could have gone one of two ways. Yeah, that's really nice. So, it, what was it like when you got voted off? Um, it, it was hard. I mean, all three of us were really disappointed because every single one of us put our heart and soul into it. And, you know, I even think all three of us came together a little bit more personally, and we were really able to figure each other out. Um, and and so when it happened, we were all like, "Man, this is rigged. This is bad." Blah blah. But then we thought about it. It's like, you know what, guys? We just got to see the whole South on somebody else's dime, and we got to, to do a great experience, and it was a lot of fun. But but one of my biggest concerns was, as a chef, you know, building the whole way up. I never wanted to be categorized as a, a reality chef, or you, you know what I mean. Like I didn't want to be. I don't want to say that I never categorized as like a a food truck TV. Chef, I wanted it to be known for the others, but I like all of it kind of being combined in one. It's a lot of experiences, but what I really take away from that experience that we had, I got to eat some of the hottest food in the South. I and, saw that. Yeah, and, and, and travel around, and we really, you know, with opening this new restaurant, 
We actually do marketing research on Food Network style. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, did you get any? Did they pay you at all? So because you're off of work, did you? Make oh yeah, any, we, yeah, we, we got you, money. You got money while you were there. They, so you were like a paid. Yeah, uh, we, we, we we had our food and everything taken care of, and 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 we got paid. You know, a, a little, little bit. compensation. I saw that where you ate some of the, food, the hottest food in the South. Oh, the, the, the what is it? Um, yeah, four hundred and. Well, 10 degrees or whatever, whatever it was. The 400 degree hot chicken. Why would anybody even want to do that? You can't even taste the flavor of the food. It was delicious. And believe it or not, my wife loved it. And you she loved it. No, I was like, you're a crazy woman. But um, Nashville hot chicken, like I know it's a cool trend out there. And there's some really good hot chicken in the city. But we actually tried a lot of Nashville hot chicken in Nashville. And it's delicious. So if you see it on a menu somewhere at one of these local restaurants, I think there's one just right down the street here that has it on their menu too. It's good. Check there's it one out. here in Little Rock? Uh, just there's restaurants that have it on their menu. Really? Yeah. I've seen it around. It's, it's good stuff. I would be afraid to eat that because it seems like it would ruin your palate for tasting anything else. Kind of like tequila, right? Mm-hmm. I like tequila and hot stuff. And you so. try the bar- <laughs> you do them both. So there you go. They go great together. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the picture in the center of the screen. For more at Carrie's interviews, click either video on the right of the screen. And as always, thank you for watching.